out right now in San Francisco at Salesforce's big event. It's called Dreamforce. With that said, I'm gonna get some sushi and then we're heading to Metallica. All right, so right now we're heading to the Metallica concert and we're not leaving until I play my favorite song. The problem is the line's gonna take 30 minutes to get in and we gotta leave in like 30 minutes. We try anyway? It's gonna take us an hour from here to get to the hotel, grab our stuff and get here. Nine o'clock, nine o'clock's our, our exit. <laughs> I just hope they're trying to hit the mosh pit. This makes you want to fight someone so bad. We just finished Metallica, now we're heading to the, uh, in the Uber, head to the airport, fly to Chicago to hang out with Grant Cardone. Let's go. So we're Metallica, we tried to get to the front, we got stuck. Someone dumped beer, beer on Todd. Yeah. And then we snuck out finally and we are late. So now we're in the Uber heading back to the hotel to pack our bags. To head to the airport because our flight leaves in like three hours. Six. Yeah, basically about five. Six minutes from now, we gotta be back in the lobby with our stuff. All right, dude, we've got like two minutes here. Hurry, bud. We'll see you real soon, please. Hurry. We've got one more pass to run the way down here. I hope. <laughs> Russell! We made it. Thought we were gonna be sick. We made the flight. So we just landed in Chicago, O'Hare. It was a rough night. Dave had 57 minutes. Dan holding you right now at zero. I did the best, I think. I feel guilty now. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Flashback. <laughs> so 20 years ago, I was on this escalator with my dad. My senior year in high school, I was going to high school nationals, and we were going down this runway with these lights. So I was like second in the country, became an All-American, which changed the whole direction of my life forever, which got me the ability to go to a Division I college to wrestle in, which is why I went to end up in Boise, which is why Click Funnels got built, everything because of the trip with my dad right here. This is the cool deja vu of that moment 20-something <laughs> years ago. Russell's really tired. I, <laughs> He's having flashbacks. I think. <laughs> we're nervous, so we're gonna be on this jet. We're gonna pass out. It'll be the first like moment of like rest for three days. Hey guys, we have a little bit of a snafu right now. I'm trying to work through. Um, and Cramp doesn't speak till tomorrow. Jared's not coming till tomorrow. He's apologizing my crazy and holy crap, my assistant gave you the wrong date. I'm like, dude, we've been talking the 27th the entire time. So no reason to rush. Get some rest. Okay, what? <laughs> so we are heading out of here. We're going to meet the founder and CEO of Prove It at the Midway Airport on his private plane. We're flying down to Palm Beach. When we get to Palm Beach, we then will drive down to Miami and we'll most likely end up flying back up here tomorrow with Grant Cardone and his team and do tomorrow everything we planned on. Okay. So my question is, what can I do to help you get ready to go as soon as possible? Another Lincoln Navigator. We seem to be doing uh, all exclusive Lincoln Navigators this trip. All right, today me and Nick stole Russell's camera. That's right. Well, let's give a little bit of backstory. So, today we were supposed to meet with Grant Cardone. That's not stable. <laughs> we were supposed to meet with Grant Cardone today, and he actually isn't even here. So, he's down in Florida, and we have nothing to do, so the plan was to get on his private jet, fly back to Boise to build him a funnel. So what we're actually going to be doing today is just gonna go hang out in Chicago and check out the sites. Let's go! So the situation with Grant is, he was supposed to be in Miami right now, but he had this opportunity to go fly up to Orlando to go take a look at some real estate. The way we know that is because on Instagram he goes live and we're watching like, oh he's in the plane, he's coming here, and it's like, Orlando, coming to see you. Thank you Instagram Live for letting us know your plans. <laughs> Brian Underwood, the owner of Prove It, is supposed to be flying to Boise, his private plane tomorrow, because I have a big important meeting with him. So he rerouted his private plane to, to land here in, in Chicago right now. We're on like seven hours of sleep in the last like three days. Craziest thing is we're flying to Palm Beach to be in Miami. We have not confirmed yet that Greg can actually fly us from Miami back to Chicago tomorrow. We're just hoping and praying that somehow some miracle will open up and we will end up back here tomorrow morning at nine with him. He's talking to Grant to figure out if we can actually get back to. Okay. All right, let me see what I can do. All right. <laughs> okay, this is the update. This is the live update <laughs> the live that's update. happening. So yeah, they actually can get us back, but now what they want is they want Nick and Jake to fly down and they want to film it on the leg from Miami to Chicago. 
Okay, so crazy things happening around here. So we thought we had a full day here in Chicago, but now we might be flying to Miami. <laughs> so we had to turn our Uber around and come back to the hotel. Uh, I wish we had a funnel for that. Good job. Life water. Yeah. All right, y'all ready? We're ready, guys. Okay. All right, so we're here now. There's Brian, the owner of Prove It, and we're jumping on his plane. He's got three now, which makes total sense, so. We did this really cool trip to Dubai. And so like we skydived over Dubai, we did dune racing, going down like 300 foot uh, sand dunes. And then we played polo on camels. And so uh, my wife fell in love with the camels. And so for Christmas, I surprised her uh, with two camels. <laughs> Surprise, yeah. I have a camel. Hank and Merle. Hank and Merle? Yeah, Hank for the camel. country singers, Merle Haggard and Hank Williams. <laughs> you want to, uh, do y'all you, you want to ex experiment with something? <laughs> Why not? Uh, yes. So this is an actual ketone ester. I think he's like drugging us. Like, Seriously. I, I'm yeah. not sure, but I have Get anything I want from Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? You got to drink the whole thing. Here, I'll... <laughs> it burns. Let's drink water. It burns. Where's the water? That's like massive mental clarity. I mean, I'm super, super tired, <laughs> but I'm like, I can Ketones go. Ketones are the best thing. Let's go. Uh, are you let's going? go. I feel like I'm at my house. My seatbelt's not even on. I'm gonna go through security. We could, we could be a bomb right now. I just said bomb in a plane, and nobody cares. All right. So for somebody who has a vision of someday owning one or two or four jets, what would be the biggest takeaway or aha you had in the last couple of years to get somebody from wherever they're at to the next level? Um, I think always stretch yourself. Um, and I think the best way to stretch yourself is to put yourself in environments that you don't feel comfortable in or around people that you can learn from. I, I find, this is just me personally, like when I'm with you, I get inspired, right? Because you're stretching yourself. You're in the hunt, so to speak. And I, I think proximity is power. I think, you know, being around the right people is super important. Like as you start having success, go back to scratch, go back to, you know, where it all started. You know, you have a very keen awareness of, of what it's all about, where your family is, you know, where you started. And I think you stay grounded in those roots. ClickFunnels wasn't seeded out of all Russell's success. It was seeded out of all of his experience through the journey. So as cliche as it may sound, um, business is just like life, is embrace the journey, embrace the process, and um, just keep moving forward. I think it's interesting too, you think about this, Tony Robbins says it's a lot like, we always overestimate what we've done in a year and underestimate what we've done in 10 years. And it's like five years ago, we were in a company together that literally made zero dollars and we spent like, I spent six months of my life, you probably spent a year, year and a half of your life, and it was like, we thought in a year that was gonna be our big payday, and it wasn't, but now it's been four years since then. We're on a private plane, half a billion dollars in sales. I don't have a plane yet, but we're at a hundred million dollars. You all hear him say sales, yet? Right? I just heard him say yet. We need to and we're now in Florida, woohoo! It is super hot. Thank you. Do you know how to drive these things? I have no idea. I don't have a driver's license. Where's the park? Ah, oh, crap. Where's the parking brake? Like, oh, there you go. How do we get out of here? I don't know. Oh, that's the way. Yeah. Uh, Help! <laughs> I need an adult. <laughs> Maybe it's like this. Stop, don't press it when I press oh, it. I'm sorry. Panicky now. <laughs> oh, there it is. I don't know how to put it in park. <laughs> Wait, do you? <laughs> We're locked in. I can't be able to open the door. Yeah, we don't have anything until tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. So 
we got nothing else to do till then besides drive.